Hey, what's good, YouTube? It's your boy Undergamer870 here. We got an upgrade for Tim Tebow. As I was saying last night in my Call of Duty stream, I'm excited, but at the same time, I'm not. I'm excited because it's an improvement to a Broncos player. But I'm not excited because this also means that we more than likely are not going to get a John Elway and Peyton Manning if they're giving us an upgrade on this Tim Tebow card, which is trash in comparison to most people's core starting quarterback. So with that in mind, people, let's take a look at what we have here. Let's take a look at what we have. Of course, the upgrade price is going to be tremendously high. It was so funny last night hearing the predictions from various people saying, well, you know, maybe they may give us plus five or plus six for for the power up. No. We knew that that wasn't happening. Um, <clears throat> it's already cost. Well, let me go back and get my. I actually have Tim Tebow, the, the regular card, starting on my team. So I need to get him and remove all of the things from him so I could get the training and the um, everything out of it before I, I, I put him into the power-up. Because EA doesn't acknowledge it once you put it into the, the power-up. And they won't tell you that, that it's done either. They just will take the card <clears throat> and, your, and your training and all that good stuff and be like, thank you. No, they don't even say thank you. They just take it. But anyway, we now are going to put the Campus Hero card into the Legends card. I mean, to the Power of card. And let's see what happens. Okay, we're going to put his chemistries on. Before we check everything out. And put that on. About the hard art. Yeah, I like that one a little bit better. Then when we put him at... Whoa! That minor upgrade has made us a 95 overall on the Broncos theme team. Hmm. Number manipulation. Oh, removing Tim Tebow made us a 95. Putting Tim Tebow back into the starting lineup Makes us a 95. Okay, that's crazy. His card is a 94 with a balanced offensive team. He's a, The card is a 94 with a balanced offensive team. Let's take a look at his stats, you know. So if anybody out there is losing to the Broncos theme team and you see Tim Tebow at quarterback, yeah, you lost to a 94 quarterback. Should be embarrassed. Should feel horrible. No, I'm just joking. I, I think. Uh, but his stats, 92 speed, not atrocious, you know, it's not horrible. Throwing power is a 95, short accuracy 93, mid accuracy is a 90, deep accuracy is a, is a 88. Throwing under pressure is 93, 94 run, 88 play action. It's suitable, you know. It, it makes you adjust your playing style. You will not be one of those guys that, you know, just are throwing the ball all over the yard. You will quickly get the ball out of your hand. I can tell you that much up front so it won't hurt you in the behind. Now what we're going to do is put some, let's put some cams on them, y'all. I mean, put some abilities on them and see how we can max them up. See if his abilities have changed any. He gets threat detector, long range dead eye. Hmm. Okay. 
Grid Zone, Dead Eye, Fearless, Closer, Sleight of Hand, Fast Break, Scape Artist, Agile Extender, Quick Draw, Comeback, Gutsy Scrambler, Anchored Extender, Dashing Dead Eye, Clutch, Roaming Dead Eye, Indoor Baller, Homer, Gift Wrapped, Safety Valve, Tight Out, Recuperation, and Second Win. We have a, believe it or not, Broncos actually has, the Broncos actually have, I'm sorry, some very fast edge guys. You know, my Andre Johnson on the full theme team as a 90 overall is a 98 speed. It's not a bad card, you know. Andre Johnson has beat a many top corners on the game. And Cortland Sutton is a 99 speed. So, you combine those two with our tight end, Vernon Davis, who is a 99 overall with 98 speed. Not horrible. As a matter of fact, I think I want to put long range dead eye on him. I think I want to put long range dead eye on him. Because that is going to help us tremendously with his throwing. Second place. Uh, here's the thing. I don't get blitzed very often by cornerbacks. So I'm not necessarily concerned with that one. Uh, May, I don't want, I don't like, um, next, I don't necessarily like it when the ability has a prepositional phrase on the end of it, you know, quick draw, for example, you get faster throwing animations, but only when it's under pressure. Well, that means your my offensive line is trash, but I've adapted and now I've gotten to the point where I can. I can be okay without, um, I can be okay by just getting rid of the ball quickly. I'm not the kind of quarterback that's going to be loading up and throwing deep all game. So that's not my play style because of my quarterback and offensive line on the Denver Broncos. Um, I wish, where's goal line though? I mean, uh, red zone. I want the red zone, did I? That's I might have to let something else go because red zone did I was nice. Red zone did I was nice. I might take this. Have to be standing outside of the pocket for this one to work. Okay, I think I put roaming did I on him. So. Well, I, already put, I already did that, so that's cool. I already have roaming. I may be about to roll with the dashing. Maybe about to roll with the dashing. Uh. Maybe about to roll with the dashing. All right. So we have, because his, his quarterback, his throwing accuracy is not the best, okay? So we have long range dead eye, roaming dead eye, and dashing dead eye. We, long story short, we just need his accuracy to improve greatly. But this one card has made us a 95 overall, which is amazing. Which is amazing. Uh... I'm going to have to take off an ability on somebody. I think I want to take this this three AP off of Cortland Sutton, but that's a whole nother video. Because I he doesn't really run routes like that. But, yeah, this is our Tim Tebow upgrade. Be on the lookout for some gameplay coming your way very soon. But as you saw, that one card took us up to a 95 overall, which is, and a, you know, I guess it's the math person in me, but 93 plus 96 divided by 2 is not going to give you 95, but it's not going to give you 95 in Madden, I should say, because it'll give you 90, 
94 and a half, I believe. Yeah, it'll give you 94 and a half, but Madden doesn't round up. Not, not the usual Madden calculator. So, there's a, no, there's a real reason why they gave us these cards. I believe that the cards were, the cards being as low as they were, were probably having us compared or competing against teams that weren't up to our standards. So, they just did it that way. But with no further ado, you all be easy. Much love. Don't forget to like, sub, and, and share the video. Peace.